Oh, your senpai is a man? Oh, jealousy. Ah, so, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, also, we exchange numbers so you can let me know if he learns anything useful. Oh, uh, your face has changed color, old Nintendo Gamer. Yeah. Old Nintendo Gamer. And son. Hello and welcome back to Emio the Smiling Man, Famicom Detective Club, and as you can see in the bottom left there, this still is the demo at Old Nintendo Gamer and Sons YouTube channel here. So I'm going to resume the investigation as I believe the update has happened to this demo, allowing us access to dun, 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 Chapter 2 Disappearance. Uh, yes, I want to load this data and carry on into the next chapter. Review the plot thus far? No, go back and watch our two other videos, pro one for the prologue, one for chapter one, and uh, we are aware that uh, there's an urban legend, and we're gonna go, well, I haven't spoken to Detective Kamada for quite some time. Chapter two? Disappearance. Uh, who has disappeared, though? We're back at the police station, as promised. Nice and early. Ah, thanks for taking the time to meet Inspector Kamada. Oh, gamer! Huh? Sorry I wasn't available yesterday. Would you stop by? Hmm. Oh, it's all right. You're incredibly busy, but if you have a few minutes now. Yes, yes, of course. You can ask me anything, but let's uh, head to the back room first. I'm just gonna move my microphone. Oh, sounds good. So, what's the latest on the investigation? Any more info on the victim? Hmm, well, uh, I'm afraid we don't have much new information, but forensics are still taking a look at that paper bag. Oh my god, forensics. Right, um, call engage, ask, listen, you go through all these until it has a paper bag. I hear that the paper bag itself seemed like it might have been old, is that true? I really can't say until we get the results, but, uh, oh, we'll know soon enough. Uh, we're waiting on the results from forensics about how old the paper bag is. Uh, this is just a difficult case. Uh, let's, let's, um, where? Look where. Let's look at Kamada. Is it my imagination? Was he oddly familiar? Looks like uh, your detective's father, for example. All right, there's nothing to look at. Then I'm gonna think. So they still don't know how old that paper bag is. Let's find out why they didn't tell anybody, uh, anyone about it, 18 years ago. Amazing. Uh, murder from 18 years ago, here we go. I understand that you kept the paper bag a secret in the previous case, is that right? Ah, yeah, that's right, it was a, I was in charge of the investigation, it was, it was my call. I see. And we had good reason, it was a big scandal anyway. But if the, all the bizarre details had leaked, well, it just seemed best not to rile folks up about details. Could have slowed down our investigation. Why? Try not to rile folks up. Hmm. I showed you the photo of the victim with the paper bag, right? If that got out to the public, there's a chance someone would try to copy it. Uh, my understanding is that we never caught the killer who committed those crimes 18 years ago, is that right? Yeah, still haunts me to this day. Well, since the cat's out of the bag, let me share a few other shameful secrets with you. Please, go on. Well, in addition to three tragic unsolved murders, mind you, we worked that case hard. I didn't want to see any more lives lost on my watch. But something else slipped through our fingers. Oh? Yeah, we had a missing person, a young boy. The killer. Ah. His name was Makoto Kuze. Ah. Kuze, you said. 
Makoto Kuze. So you are saying, Oh, that's exactly what you're thinking. He's Detective Kuze's older brother, six years older. He was 14 years old when he just uh, disappeared. I personally suspect that he was murdered by the same person. That was a tremendous blow to my team. Fortunately, we never did find another victim in a paper bag like that until now. Unfortunately, we never found poor Makoto either. Thursday, he's considered a missing person, but I think it's possible, even likely, there's a connection. Is he the murderer? It certainly is strange. For some reason, after the disappearance of Makoto Kuze, the serial murders of young girls stopped. Yeah. Ah. Ah, we're not sure why, but fortunately we haven't seen that sort of crime since then. Ah, for the record, there have been no new murder victims since you went missing. Oh, another thing I should mention. We had a suspect at the time, but he disappeared shortly after the first murder. Right after the first murder? Ah. Huh? So there were two disappearances back then surrounding our case, and now you're only telling me about it now. It feels like everything is connected, but we still have a few missing pieces, you know? Do you have any more information about the man who went missing? I suppose so. It turns out that he knew the first victim from the serial girl murder case. Uh, they had apparently been meeting up frequently. Uh. Anyway, uh, the same day the body of the first victim was found, uh, we found a disturbing amount of blood in the man's apartment. Oh. He thought that perhaps the man was injured in some kind of altercation relating to the murder. It's also possible that he himself is the killer. Well, he's still missing, along with the truth. I'm afraid we weren't able to establish a connection between him and the series of murders. Apart from all the blood everywhere. Ah! 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 Achoo! Oh! I was sneezing, not laughing. Oh. Whoa! Oh, sorry about that. It's a little dusty in here. Oh, see, these cold cases sit in files gathering dust over the years. 18 years is a lot of dust into tissue. I've been through, sifting through the archives for any information that might help us out with this case. Hence all the dust. <laughs> uh, could also be allergies, who knows. Uh, allergies. Right, if I look at him now... I can offer him a tissue. Should I tell him to grab a tissue for his nose? Yes, you should. Right, let's examine our surroundings, and then I'm gonna think... Ah, uh, no one's here other than Inspector Kamada. No one. Not even me. I'm not here. So, there were two missing people involved in the case 18 years ago. One was a man who apparently knew the victim. They found blood in his apartment after he disappeared. And the other was Detective Kuze's brother. Makoto Kuze has been missing this whole time. I wonder if Inspector Kamada ever met Detective Kuze as a child. I've known Detective Kuze since she was a child, a kid, but I don't think she remembers m me much from those years. She sure has grown up, though. She's tough and sharp as a tack. A great detective. It's just, uh... Just what? I think Kuze is working a bit too hard. Feels like she's tense all the time, always pushing. Hmm. It's gotta be tough, her brother gone missing from a young age, might be weighing on her. Yes, but she's on the case that her brother went missing from, isn't that a conflict of interests or something? It's not allowed. Ah, oh, but what do I know? I'm no shrink. Uh, let's keep asking Inspector Commander about the important questions. Um, again? I still can't figure it out all these years later. Maybe you weren't the right man for the job. Kuze is already on the Sasaki case, as you know. She is the best we got, reliable, and always gives her all. 
Is it possible that Isuke was killed by the same person who killed the others 18 years ago? Well, I can't rule it out, but we should also consider the possibility of a copycat, however. Since certain details about the crime were never made public, a copycat is pretty unlikely. And as a matter of the victims, why target girls then and boy now? Oh. And there's one more critical difference. Uh, do you know what it is? Uh, the victims were killed in a different manner. Uh, that's right. Uh, you seem to have a pretty good handle on this case already. Uh, as you said, the serial murders were committed barehanded uh, with a suke strangled with a cord. Uh, yes. Of course, a killer could deviate from his modus operandi in the heat of the moment. We can't rule that out. And if we are chasing the same perp, he's now 18 years older than he was he. Maybe his methods changed over time. I see. You're yeah, jumping the conclusions that it's a he. Uh, it could also be allergies, who knows? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's think and now you that. So the paper bag might be the only common factor. It all seems like it's coming back to that smiling man urban legend. Come to think of it, has Inspector Commander heard of the smiling man? So we're gonna ask him about the smiling man. Uh, by the way, are you familiar with the urban legend known as the smiling man? Uh, smiling man? No, what the hell is that? Well, it relates to the paper bags you found on those victims. Paper bags with smiley faces on them. A man with such a bag on his head would appear in front of a crying girl and threaten to give her a smile forever. The victims are said to be found in the same type of paper bag with a crude smiley face drawn on. Are you serious? It's a real urban legend? Uh, smiling man thing, it sure does seem like those murders could have been the inspiration behind it. But you said the information about the paper bags was never made public, right? Uh, information slips out. Uh, that's right, it would not, it would have been irresponsible. Well, you know, there are a lot of people at a crime scene, the paper bag thing could have leaked. I wouldn't rule it out, a connection. It could even be the reverse. That the killer was copying this legend. Mm. Yeah, which came first. Ah, this whole thing is such a mess. Well, it's getting late. I should get back to the investigation. I should probably excuse myself as well. Let's head to the scene of the crime so I can take a look at the spot where the body was found. At first, was there anything I forgot to ask? Mm -hmm. Just... Oh, she's heavily vested in it. Yes, 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 yes. I have to wonder if there's a connection to the case 18 years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Observations? Last observations? Well, I think I'll be on my way now, unless there's something you can share with me. Oh, um, let me see. Now that you mention it, you did speak with Kamihara extensively yesterday, didn't you? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I know Detective Kuze is taking the case personally. And that, well, uh, that might be putting a lot of pressure on him as her partner. Hmm. Uh, what do you think about Kamihara? Odd duck, isn't he? Uh, um, say the least. And say the truth, then. He's not really... Well, you know, he gets results. Kamihara is a pretty good detective, after all. Smart, and he's got good instincts. Terrible shot, though. I knew Kamihara would make an impression, didn't I? <laughs> I'm sure I'm learning a lot of surprising things about Detective Kamihara. Well, that he's a detective. <laughs> oh, he must have seen how he gets on with Detective Kuze, as in, not well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, she ripped into him again yesterday while I was here. But at the end of the day, uh, they may seem like opposites, but they're quite the duo. Ah, uh, believe it or not, Kamihara looks up to Kuze like a mentor. Meanwhile, Kuze is wound tighter than the coil. She needs that loose energy that Kamihara brings. Since the two of them started working together, Detective Kuze has really mellowed out. Credit with it's to you, I think that's Kamihara's influence. 
second. Oh, let's just try it, right? They make a good team. Yeah, it's a good team. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, I just remembered something else about Detective Kuzi. <laughs> uh, and? What is it? What, is this something funny? Oh, yeah. Oh, funny memory. Yeah, it's about Kamihara. His aim was so bad on the shooting range, uh, Kuse came to me directly and asked if I could ban him from carrying a firearm. Uh, classic Kamihara. I suppose it's no laughing matter if you're out in the field with him, but... Uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, that's that. Any more questions? Maybe. Oh, I still can't believe Kose came directly to me to ask if we could stop Kamihara from carrying guns. I think I got everything I could. Let's get going. Thank you. Scene of the crime. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Inspector Kamada. I should be on my way now. Sure thing. If you need anything else, just stop by. Um, I will. Thank you. By the way, how old are you now, gamer? Old Nintendo gamer to you, pal. Oh, I'm, I'm 19, sir. So, you wouldn't have heard about those previous murders at the time they were committed? No, sir, just trying to learn everything I can now. Oh, that's good. Well, you need to immerse yourself and try, try to understand. I'm glad to hear you're approaching this investigation with the right attitude. And I'm hopeful that you'll bring an outsider's perspective to it. Might be the key to our, our solve. Maybe I need to read the, the, all the documents from 18 years ago. Um, you know, just in case you've overlooked something. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Good. Good. I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Where are you headed next, by the way? Well, I was wondering if I could take another look around the crime scene. Do you mind? Oh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. I should have gone without telling him. Huh? Ah, just pulling your leg, rookie. You're part of the Utsugi Detective Agency, so you get full access. I didn't get full access yesterday. Oh, great, thank you. Some locations may be taped off, but you can ignore that. Go ahead and investigate. Oh, uh, just, uh... Yes? Don't tell Kose. Let's hope Kuze is not there then, yes? Right, I'm gonna sip some coffee while I'm... Looking around the scene of the crime! Here's the pump station where Isuke Sasaki's body was found. I got the green light from Inspector Kamada. Time to check it out. Pump station. There's a lock on the door. Uh, the body was found around here. He had no lines. An early morning passerby saw him lying strangely on the ground and called the police. I'm sure there was a terrible shock. Why would anyone have passed by here? They're running. <coughs> there's no one to talk to. Alright, let's look and examine. Ooh, this is the first time we're examining stuff. Uh, examine the fence. I think Asuke's body was found in the front of this fence. What a lonely place. I can't help but imagine him with a terrible paper bag on his head. Terrible. He's been, he's been strangled to death, fixating on this paper bag. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing of particular concern here. There are warning signs here, one from the police and one from the water department. That must be the water department one. How long has this facility been here? Ah, the bushes seem normal. <laughs> no signs of trampling or anything knocked over. I don't see anything there. Might be a clue. Nothing of particular concern here. What's going on in there? I'm strangely intrigued. Okay, let's have a look around back. Really? 
clunky. Uh, hit the pixel. I didn't see anything out of place from the back of the pumping station, but uh, there's a path leading up to the back side of the facility. So this isn't a dead end after all. I wonder if the person who found the body came through here, some kind of shortcut. I don't see anything else out of in uh, else of interest. Uh, still, it's pretty spooky. I almost feel like the smiling man is watching me from the shadows. <laughs> Who could have come here and done such a terrible thing to Isuke Sasaki? And where have the lines around his body gone? I don't think there are any more clues here. Let's take the bus back to the office. Well, we came to the murder scene, uh, absolutely nothing. Let's see, the next bus is arriving in an hour. Oh, oh no. It might be faster to walk back. Oh. There's someone in the car. Hey, oh, oh, I've forgotten his voice. Hey, boy, ho, oh, boy, detective. Uh, looks like you're working hard on our case, thanks. Yes. Oh, Detective Kamihara, I should actually be thanking you. Oh, please, anyway. Uh, what's up? No, no, it's anything new. Have you found something different? Maybe thanks to your private investigator mindset. Please let me know. I'm afraid I didn't find much. Oh, well, uh, let me know if you do find something, or if I can help in any way. Isn't he supposed to be one of the primary investigators? I'm on my way back to the station, but, um, but? <laughs> How's the investigation going on your side? Oh, I'm kind of stalled out, but uh, don't worry about me, boy detective. Anyway, if I find anything, I'll share the info with the... Uh, oh, never mind. Huh? Have you noticed anything new here? Hmm. Why is he staring at me so intensely? Well, boy detective. Yes. You got a haircut, didn't you? Well, I didn't, but, um... Oh, dang it, usually that's what people are looking for when they ask if you've noticed something new. Oh, boy. Detective Kuze. Eh, it's just a Detective Kamahara's car, or is it an official police vehicle? Seems like he's returning from an investigation. Something seems off about him. Is that another... Ah... <sighs> uh. Haven't you heard of confidentiality? I can't actually share more information with you. Yeah, well, now he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Hmm. Since you asked me about noticing things, there is something that I'm hoping you notice. Did he cut his hair? It's not, it looks exactly the same. Is he being even stranger than he was yesterday? He's got a new tie. I wonder if he's always been this way. Hey, you're waiting for a bus. You know they don't come by very often. Yeah, I took a look at the schedule. Oof. I was actually just thinking how it would be faster to walk back to the office. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, you don't want to do that. You'd get all sweaty. Not a good look. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Well, I'd give you a ride if I could, uh, but yeah. Maybe I need now to look at Kuze. Ah, I see. We gotta get going. Uh, sorry, I'm getting called away. Um, the bus doesn't come by often, does it? Uh, no. Uh, it's almost like he's apologizing with his eyes. He approached me, but it seems like something is going on with him. I guess I shouldn't hold him up any longer. I, I think I'll just wait for the bus, but thanks for your concern. Gotcha! Well, I'll take care then. See ya! He just jump in the back of the car. <laughs> I forgot right, I'm gonna call Kuzi. Can't you just come pick me up? As if I'd ever say that to her for real. Detective Kamihara, please come back. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> there's no one to talk to. Yep, yeah, there's no one to talk to. Uh, use the phone. Huh? Ah, oh, the battery seems pretty low. Now that I think of it, I don't remember charging the phone last night. Buffoon. Maybe I'll just wait until it's an emergency. I should have listened to Ayumi about this. I guess there's no choice but to wait for the bus. How should I pass the time? Yeah, there's only one bus per hour. They stop running pretty early. I think I'll just sit and wait. That's there, well, that's how you're gonna pass the time then. I suppose I could open my notebook. He's banned from carrying a gun. Ah, Makoto Kose, 32 years old, disappeared 18 years ago, hasn't been seen since. Could have been the murderer, the missing man is another one. He knew the first victim. And we got Ayumi, old Nintendo gamer. Look, does he look like the son of Kamada? Who knows? Different name. And police officer undisclosed, right? Uh, think? Hmm, good thinking. Yeah, there's no one to talk to. I'm the only one waiting for a bus. Kind of lonely. Who should I call? Oh, I can call a cab. I can just dial 104 to get the operator to connect me. I am so smart for thinking of this. Cell phones are amazing. Thank you, Mr. Utsogi. The battery can't just suddenly die, can it? Let's see, one, zero... Ah! The battery's dead. Deadly Kamihara's gone. Yeah, it was good to hear all that backstory about him from Inspector Kamada. Ah, oh, there we go. I know he can seem careless, careless, but uh, he's actually a fine detective. He's smart and he's got a good instinct. Terrible shot, though. I yeah, must have seen how he gets on with Detective Kuze, as in, not well. But at the end of the day, they may seem like opposites, but they're quite the duo. Kuze is wound tighter than the coil. She needs that loose energy that Kamihara brings. Since the two of them started working together, Detective Kuze has really mellowed out. Wow, what was she like before? If he's sharing that about Kuze... Maybe she's just as hard on him as she is on Detective Kamihara. 
for not doing his job 18 years ago. It was about Kamihara. It was so bad. On the shooting range, Kuse came to me directly and asked if I could ban him from carrying a firearm. I suppose it's no laughing matter if you're out in the field with him. I'm sure Kuse and Kamihara have a good working relationship. She does seem to be yelling at him every time I see him together, though. Maybe yelling is a love language. Still thinking, but hardly any time has passed. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, walk. I just walk. Oh. Oh. At this hour, it might be hard to find a taxi. I don't think anything's passing this road. I think a particular concern here. There's something I'm missing, is there? Absolutely amazing. Right, so I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh! I think I'll just sit and wait. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. I can't use my phone. Oh, the battery's dead. I think. Oh, I can't even use my cell phone. I guess I have to wait for the bus. Hmm. Unless... I can't let this discourage me. There's got to be another way to call a taxi. I can do this, probably. What the hell? I just thought it might be hard to find a taxi. Oh. Okay, let's call a cab. I'll just use my mysterious powers. How we... How, uh, close my eyes and... Summon a taxi with my mind. I mean, it's worked before. That one time when I wished we'd have another sunny day. Yes, I wish the sun would come up tomorrow. Is that the sound of a car approaching? I can feel it, I can feel it. Come on, universe, send me a cab to a PI in need. Come on! Uh, huh? Did I really summon a taxi? Hop in, you're heading to the station, yeah? What? Come on, hop in! Oh, okay. Are you sure about this? Did, did you have someone else to pick up or something? Uh, no, I'm here to pick you up. Me? Really? Yeah, someone sent it, like Kamihara. You're here to pick me up specifically? Uh, boss called in and said I had a fare out waiting at the bus stop. Hmm. Uh, you're saying you didn't call me? I guess someone else arranged it for you. I guess someone else arranged it for you. He's got some sort of charm. Yeah, it's just the taxi driver. Yeah, but I want to talk to him. There's nothing in the... Over there. Can I look in the... The rear view mirror? No, I can't. Uh, what was up? Yeah, someone arranged it for you. Hmm. Could you have been Detective Kamihara? Thank you for calling the cab for me, Dice. It was really helpful. No, I think it was Kuze. Oh, hey. Yes, what is it? Uh, did you know the cops found a body not too far from where I picked you up? Yeah, I am um, heard about that. Oh, you heard a rumor that the kid was killed somewhere around here the other night. 
The word travels fast. Uh, something crazy like that, you know, people are going to talk. Uh, I guess the kid was in the middle school. Poor guy. Yeah. Hell of a thing for a kid to get killed in a place like that, huh? I mean, maybe the killer figured out they could count on the place to be deserted, you know? Uh, it makes me sick to think about it. Let's talk to the driver. I just did. Oh, what were you doing there anyway? You're some kind of police detective or something. Not exactly, I am. How can I put it? Um, oh, son, you look like you're in high school, aren't you? Hey! I drive past all the time for work, but I've never picked anyone up here. So I gotta ask, what are you up to? Returned into the crime scene. I just had some business to attend to. Hmm, I see. So I didn't mean to pry. Uh, he often drives by this area for work. Who said you drive through this area often? Yeah, I do. I was actually out here the night before last. Probably around 10 p.m. Oh, what coincidence. Oh. And we haven't ruled out that someone driving by may have seen something is right next to the road. Maybe the driver saw something. Did you see anything noteworthy when you drove through the area the other night? Anything noteworthy? Yes, anything at all that could help. Hmm, let me think. So you're saying you're a detective now, yeah? Hmm, let's see. Uh, maybe there was something. Um... Oh, right, I almost forgot. Um... Well, what is it? I saw a motorcycle parked there the other night. You didn't think you'd tell the police? A motorcycle, huh? Uh, positive, I saw a motorcycle parked over there the other night around 10 p.m. Sure of it. So the murder was done at 9? Oh. Uh, it was a nice looking bike. Uh, but, um, uh, hmm? I'm guessing the rider was just, you know, making a pit stop. Pit stop? Why there? Bathroom break kid, do you ever see a bike on the side of a road? The rider is probably taking a piss. He's pretty confident about this interpretation. Yeah, it was a motorcycle park right there. There? You've just driven miles away. So there's a motorcycle parked at the crime scene around 10 p.m. on the night of the murder. Yeah, it's concerning to say the least. And if the killer was riding a motorcycle, why did he wait one hour to leave? Then they must have killed Isuke there. I can't imagine transporting a body on a motorcycle. I think it's most likely that Isuke was killed at the pump station, but why was a motorcycle parked there? Yeah, it must be for some other reason. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it's pretty dark out there at night, so if a motorcyclist was just passing by, it seems unlikely they'd notice the suke lying that far back from the road. Plus, wasn't the person who called in the murder there in the early morning? Uh, maybe the driver is right after all. Uh, maybe the driver is right. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, why does it feel like I'm being interviewed by a detective? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're in high school, right? Yeah. Well, I'm actually in a sort of detective club. We like to investigate anything strange that happens in town. Why didn't I just tell him I'm a PI? Oh, well. Uh, it sounds kind of fun. Yeah, it's all fun and games. Uh, getting close to the office. You didn't happen to see anything else the night before last, did you? Uh, nah, don't think so. I suppose it's not what you're looking for, but uh, 
Oh, I do have a story if you want to hear it. Hmm? Let's hear it. Oh, you know, I told you that I got a call about a fare out of the bus stop. Uh, when they said there was a young man out there waiting for me, I got nervous. What? Ah, uh, see, you'd be surprised how often we get calls from, uh... Calls from who? I know, like phantom calls from another world. You show up and there's no one there. It's creepy. It's, it's called pranking, pal. From another world. Ah. You were hanging out in the uh, where that boy was murdered, right? So, yeah. If I had gotten a call to pick you up at night, I might have just faked being sick or something. I know it's kind of unprofessional, huh? Uh, anyway, thought you might like one now. Sorry if I wasted your time. Alright, let's get me where you're going. Ah, uh, sure. Yo, I'm going to Oshio's house. You want to come? He's got Basilisk Quest 4, doesn't he? Heck yeah, I'm in. Let's slay some basilisks. Minami Dyson Junior High School. This is a longer chapter, isn't it? <laughs> Middle school boys are so energetic. I'm here to talk to kids in Minami Dyson. Dyson Junior High, where Isuke Sasaki was a student. Wait up! Uh, hmm? I'm coming too, why didn't you leave without me? What? Huh? So cute! Oh? Excuse me miss, can I help you? What can Minami Dyson Junior High do for you? Oh, uh, um, hello? Uh, are you sure your friends left without you? Yeah, I'm okay. I should help people in need, right? I mean, that's what my mom says. And all my teachers. Is that so? Well, thank you. Not that I'm in need, necessarily. Okay, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you sure you're okay with it? Yeah, ask me anything. I'll never say no to a nice woman. That's what my dad says, always says, anyway. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm only in my first year here, you know, but I know a lot. Ask away. First year? Well, you seem like you got it figured out. <laughs> like I said, I never say no to a nice woman. Uh, do you know about what happened to Isuke Sasaki? Yeah, they told us yesterday morning's assembly. I was shocked. Uh, he's actually dead, isn't he? Well, I heard he's a third year, and, uh, and that's all I know, sorry. I feel you know a lot of stuff. It's okay, thanks for talking to me. You're so cute, miss. Oh, come on, you're flattering me. Oh, no, you're super cute. His friends just went by merrily on their way. Even though something... Terrible has happened. This pretty much feels like a normal day around here. I should do Amy's voice. I wonder what the mood of the school is overall. I'm sorry if it's hard to talk about. Uh, no, it's not that. It's just wow. I bit my tongue. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. So, um, what do you want to ask? Have you noticed anything different or concerning at school since the incident about Isuke Sasaki? Uh, don't go out alone at night and stay away from the pump station. That's what the principal told us. I think everyone is leaving early today as well. Watch out for the cute girls. That's uh, like my dad's motto. Also, I have a few friends who commute to school on the bus that stops near the pump station. They said they were going to start riding their bikes instead. I can see why. Be careful when you leave today. They're gonna ride their bikes past the pump station instead of go past it on a bus. Oh, I will. Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, this kid is not far removed from elementary school. Yeah, he's quite young. And he's already into cute girls. <laughs> and then, um, uh, let's see. Uh, um, uh, it's my first year here, so I don't know much about the school. Sorry. This kid seems like he's suddenly deflated. All right, I can't talk to him. Hey, so, uh, where? What's wrong? I, uh, hmm? So I know I said a lot, but uh, I didn't actually know anything about this, okay, old school, really. My dad's always telling me not to lie, no matter who I'm talking to. I'm sorry, miss. Hey, you're being honest now, I appreciate it. Also, I did try to think of everything that I could about Isuke. But the more I thought about it, the more scared I got. I started thinking how even kids my age can die. Uh, I started worrying that I might suddenly die, you know? It's so scary. Oh, oh dear, I'm really sorry that my questions brought up these kind of feelings for you. No, 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 it's not your fault. Uh, this is weird. Dude, what's taking you so long? Hurry up! Yeah, hurry up if you come to the shows. We're the only ones who know where he lives. Alright. Alright. Bruce Wooden's there gets ready to the Basilisk Quest. Yeah. Um. Maybe I should go into the... Who was that lady anyway? She was cute! Totally. Almost as cute as Sayori. No way, Sayori's definitely cuter. Bro, you got a crush on Sayori. Big time, he's got it bad. Shut up, I'll fight you. Uh, oh, junior high kids, you can't, I just can't relate. Maybe there are some other kids I can talk to. Oh, some girls are approaching. They don't look like first year students. I should talk to them. Can we talk for a moment? Um, uh, my name is Yumi. I'm an assistant at the Utsuki Detective Agency. You're a detective? This must be about Isuke. Oh, she's smart. That's right, I'm working on this case, if you don't mind. I have a few questions. Oh, like you're interrogating me or something? Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. Yeah, I hope this is okay. And my friend and I were actually classmates with Isuke. Oh, this is better. Oh, if they were in the same class, they might have some promising information. Uh, they announced that he died at the morning assembly yesterday. I couldn't believe my ears. Can I ask you what kind of person Isuke was? Yeah, it, he was always really positive and he had lots of friends, both boys and girls. He's got good grades, he was kind. I just can't believe what happened. I'm so sorry to ask questions about this. I'm sure it's painful to think about. No, it's okay. I'm the class representative. I should be able to handle it. <laughs> class representative about the school. Everyone in this class is still talking about it a lot. Uh, we were all in shock. It happened yesterday. I'm quite sure we would be talking about it for months. I guess the kids in the younger grades might be not be as affected. I mean, it varies from kid to kid. Right? Come on, don't be sad. I know it's hard, right? Now? I was so shocked. Anyway, I could tell from the moment I saw you that you were a special miss. I mean, being a detective is so cool. Oh, do you think so? You agree, don't you? Yeah, I guess. So, Isuke was a bright, studious, and kind boy. Yeah, he was. Everyone liked him. Did you notice anything different or unusual about his behavior recently? Uh, nothing in particular. He was acting normally, right? And, uh, yeah, he was business as usual. He was just acting like the usual Isuke. I need to hear from them. 
I think we've heard enough. Can you think of anyone who was in particularly close with Isuke? I mean, he got along with everyone. He treated everyone like an equal. I wonder who it could be. Uh, I think this is just a normal school. Nothing special. Oh, come to think of it. Ah, uh, what do you remember? Something else? Yeah, I'm thinking of Megumi from the class next door. Oh! Isuke's good friend, right? They go way back. Miss, I bet she knows something. Talk to Megumi Morimoto. What's Megumi like? Oh, we're both class representatives, but uh, for different classes. So I don't know her well, but she seems nice. Right? Yeah. She's not here. <laughs> I bet Megumi knows something. I think the girl on the left must be the more talkative of the two. I'd love to hear what the girl on the right has to say as well. How about you? Do you have anything you'd like to share? Me? Um... Are we here to help Miss Detective? Come on, think! Ah! Hmm? You should just go talk to Megumi herself. Phew, I'm as sharp as a tack today. Go talk to Megumi herself. I wonder if Megumi is here. Where is Megumi anyway? Oh, uh, I guess this is where the class representative comes in. What I mean is I'll go get her, miss. Oh, nice. Oh, hang on. Oh, now we can talk to the quiet girl. Good, she's gonna be insightful. She's observing everything. She sure is energetic, huh? Yeah, sometimes a bit too energetic, I worry. But we have lots of fun together, so... Hmm. Would it be alright if I ask you a few more questions? Okay. Suke was just like everyone says. Outgoing, friendly, he could light up a room on his own. When I think about the fact that he'll never sit in class with us again, I am... Um, it's just so sad. Uh, the teachers are definitely also in shock. I don't know Megumi that well. She looks a little nervous. Oh, she is a quiet girl. I hope to hear something from her. Yeah, me too, so... Right, now she's just... The teachers are definitely also in shock. Um, but, um... Hmm? Is it okay to say, um... Is it okay to say, um... Actually, I... Hmm? I heard a rumor about one of Isuke's friends. What kind of rumor? Well, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I just thought I'd keep it quiet. But if it helps you somehow... Yes, any information you could have could be helpful. I'd love to hear it. Okay, so it's about a boy who was good friends with Isuke. Yeah. Ah, sorry to keep you waiting! Oh! And I got bad news, Megumi isn't here today, sorry miss! I see, well thanks for going out of your way to look for her. If anyone knows anything, I'd be... it'd be here. Uh, what were you talking about while I was gone? Oh, just that rumor about Isuke's friend. That rumor? Ah! Shh! Not so loud! Yeah, that rumor seems super important. You never disappoint. Nice work! Huh? Yeah, it's probably not a big deal, but are you kidding? If I were a detective, I'd definitely want to hear the rumor. Hmm? 
Then tell me about the rumor. Uh, his friend. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if the school's talking about it or anything. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, Megumi is like really cute. I have to ask, can you share the super important rumor with me? Hey, aren't you supposed to be in the detective? So you should be able to figure it out without me even saying anything, right? I don't have enough information to deduce anything, so I guess I don't know. That's what I thought. So here's the scoop. Yasuke was friends with a boy named Kenji. But they both kind of had a crush on Megumi. At least that was a rumor. Oh. I think you mean Kohei, not Kenji. Kohei, wait, do I have it wrong? Yeah. I always get Kenji and Kohei confused. Anyway, those two do look alike, uh, but I can confirm that his name is Kohei Takeguchi. I see. Uh, thank you very much. Oh no, it's almost time for cram school. Oh, you're right. Uh, good luck with the investigation, Miss Detective. Solve it for it's okay. Thank you, I'll do my best. I appreciate you taking the time to meet with me. Glad we can help. Good luck. Hey kids, be extra careful on your way home, okay? Don't go anywhere near the pump station on principal's orders. Even though someone will have to go near it at some point, we do need the pump station, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Basachi, see you later, Basachi. Basachi? Uh, I'm glad the kids are all well. Anyway, nothing to be afraid of, playing safe, right? Uh, of course, Mr. Fukuyama. See you. Ah, wonderful you to use my real name. See you all tomorrow. Fukuyama, and his voice is so familiar. Hmm? I got someone else to talk to. Blinking act. Tachibana. Uh, by any chance, are you the Fukuyama I know from the Naginata Club? That's me! Oh, I can't believe you remember me from junior high. How fun! I knew it was you, Tachibana. You are Tachibana, right? Are you me, Tachibana? I never imagined. Hmm? It's been way too long, right? Good old Tachibana. Oh, he sure hasn't changed. Still gets way too close when he's talking to you. So, what are you doing here, anyway? Well, I'm actually an assistant detective. Oh, is that right? It's Tachibana, the crime solver. That's great! Uh, did the lady carry in Naginata or so, or, um, uh, um... Wait, uh, what are you doing here? I'm actually a teacher now. I've just been assigned to the school. Ah, I see. Oh, I must be here investigating Yasuke Sasaki's murder, right? Let me help you. I'm so sorry to hear about Yasuke. Uh, it's just such a tragedy. Junior high kid kid lose, losing his life so young. It's beyond sad. I like to tell the killer that I hate him. Straight to his face. And I want Isuke back. I think everyone here at Minami and Dyson High Junior High School feels about the same. Hopefully the kids uh, you would just talk to help with the investigation, son. Yeah, they did. They gave me lots of info. Yeah, they're so brave. Uh, we'll be dealing with the trauma and still be able to deal with help of the detective. They were doing alright, though. One thing they emphasized was how popular Isuke was with everyone. Mm. I also heard that some of his good friends... I see. Like Megumi Morimoto? Oh! Hmm? And also Kohei Takeguchi. I see. Can I ask you a few questions about them? Yes, yes, of course, of course, yes, ask me anything. Great, thank you, Fukuyama. Sorry, Tachibana, um... Hmm? I know I said I, you could ask me anything, but, uh... I don't really know anything about the case. So I'm afraid it might not be of much help. Besides, uh, I wasn't the Suke's homeroom teacher, so I didn't actually know him very well. Huh. Even though Suke wasn't in my class, he was one of our precious irreplaceable students. 
Uh, so please, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you solve this case. Just answer my questions. I'm afraid I don't know anything else. He was a student in my class. Sorry, Tachibana. Uh, the kids do a lot of learning here, that's for sure. Uh, by the time they leave, they hopefully understand what it takes to be an upstanding citizen in the world. Of course. The other thing about school. We teachers learn a lot from our students. My students are always reminding me about what's important in life. Everyone grows up to school, you see. That's how I spend my days, Hachibana. Do you know a student named Megumi Morimoto? Uh, Megumi Morimoto, is that what you said? Uh, yes, yeah, some of the kids said that she was good friends with Isuke. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Uh, uh huh. So, yes, uh, Megumi is a student in my class, and she's our class representative, and. Why you so you like her? Did she struggle with her name there? Come to think of it, she's absent today. I'm sure this all has been traumatizing for her. Yes, I'm sure that's it. I can't imagine... Uh... Hmm. Did anyone check her whereabouts? Yes, the whole thing with this game must have traumatized her. Uh, yeah, that's definitely what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. He's up to something with Megumi. Did you know a student named Kohei? Kohei, oh Kohei Takaguchi, uh, yes, he's in my class. I heard he was also good friends with Isuke. Oh, I didn't realize that. Kohei is a very quiet, serious student. He must be heartbroken. I'm sure he could use some emotional support right now. I don't think you're the person to give emotional support. I didn't realize he was good friends with Isuke. This whole incident's made me realize that I'm helpless to protect these kids, even as a teacher. So, Tachibana. Uh, yes? I'm just helpless, teacher, who can't even protect my students. But if I had the opportunity to save one of them from something tragic, like the, uh, like what happened to Suke, I'd gladly give my own life. His heart's in the right place. I think being a teacher is a good fit for him. So, Fukuyama became a teacher. It makes sense. He seems dedicated and enthusiastic about it. But still, I can't help but wonder about his reaction when I brought up Megumi Morimoto. Yep. Hmm, yeah, yeah, Megumi Morimoto is, uh... Oh, oh no, um, I'm sorry, Tachibana. We have a staff meeting right now, and I'm running late. I should go. Yeah. Saved by the bell, huh? It's okay. Thanks for your help, Fukuyama. Yeah, it's the least I could do. I wish I could help more. Well, the information you provided has been helpful. But this investigation is only getting started. And I'm only going to be seeing it through. And so I'm hoping you'll continue to cooperate with the investigation and help us solve the case quickly. Can I count on your continued support? Yes, 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 of course, Tachibana. I'm happy to help. Now tell me everything about what you and Megumi are up to. That's great, thank you. See you later, Tachibana. After talking to some of the kids, I wonder if that's what I was like as junior high school student. It seems like Fukuyama is struggling to cope with what happened, but I'm sure he'd be okay. I should probably head back to the office soon. I wonder if old Nintendo Gamer is there. Am I there? Let's travel. Alright, this might be the wrap-up of uh, chapter 2. Hmm! Hey, Tachibana! I should get you contact info. If I hear anything from the students, I can share it with you. What happened to that staff meeting? I'll let you know the moment if I have any news, or would that be a bother? No, not at all. Here's my cell phone number. Oh, thank you, Touchy Banner, and here's my number, just in case. I'll never forgive the person who did this. I vow to help in any way I can. Yes, I hear you. Right next to me. And I'll see you again soon. I keep my promise, Touchy Banner. Yes, of course. I'm counting on you. And be careful on your way home. <laughs> Butsuki Detective Agency. Alright, sip some coffee while we load in the Utsuki Detective Agency. And as you should imagine, my coffee's getting cold. Hello, I'm back. Uh, welcome back, old Nintendo. Uh, I uh, just got back to. 
Oh, good to see you both. How'd it go? What information were you able to uncover? Well, I found out that the police withheld the info about the paper bags 18 years ago to avoid provoking the public. Mm, so that's why they were worried about a copycat killer. I can see how that would have muddied the investigation. I thought you were on the investigation 18 years ago, Otsuki. I also learned about a missing person who knew the first victim. They found a lot of blood in his apartment. Interesting. Seems a likely suspect, but uh, also possible that they're involved in some unrelated trouble. And last but not least, when I was investigating the crime scene, I spoke with a witness, the cab driver who brought me here. He who saw a motorcycle parked near the cr scene of the crime. A motorcycle, huh? Were you aware that a young boy also went missing around the time of the killings 18 years ago? Yes, it was Makoto Kuze, Detective Kuze's brother. Okay, I'm glad you already knew about that wrinkle and didn't tell us. I was actually working with the police at that time as well. Inspector Kamada was overwhelmed with the serial murders, so he asked me to help with the missing persons case. Of course, there was some speculation that the two were related. I see. The uh, story goes that he went looking for his sister, Junko, who hadn't come back home. He was never seen again. What? Wait, so what happened to Junko? I mean, Detective Kuze. She came back alone, but uh, she... Oh, she looked pretty shaken up to me. Shaken up, you say? I was curious and went back to visit Junko again another day, but that time, well, she didn't say a word. After that, she refused to even let me see me when I visited. Hmm. Believe it or not, yesterday was the first time I've seen her since then. Ah. I'm afraid that's all there is to that story. Now, let's hear what Ayumi found. Ayumi, please go ahead. Uh, sure, well, I went to investigate Minami Dyson Junior High School, Isuke's school. I asked around and uh, it sounds like Isuke was bright, popular and got good grades. Of course, the students were shocked by his death. They said nothing unusual had been going on. Also, speaking of Isuke, he seems to have been especially close with students Megumi Morimoto and Kohei Takaguchi. I spoke to Fukuyama, both students' homeroom teacher as well. Uh, Fukuyama was uh, actually my senpai, senpai back when I was in the Naginata club in junior high. Ah. Oh, really? Yeah, Suke is in a different class, but uh, Fukuyama still promised to help the investigation. Oh, that's great, Yumi. Thanks, yeah, but it wasn't a, it was a pleasant surprise. Well, I'd like to hear you both review the evidence you gathered today. Your insights will be of great value with the overall investigation. Why don't I stop the serial killings 18 years ago? I uncovered some information about Detective Kuze's brother, Makamoto, uh, Makoto Kuze. Well, we can't yet be sure if he had anything to do with the killings. Uh, sounds right to me. Yes, but unfortunately that's not saying much, and we know even less. Is it true that the murders stopped after Makoto disappeared? I'm curious about that. Hmm. Next, here's what we know about the ties between Asuke's case and the killings from 18 years ago. Uh, we can't be sure if there's any connection between this murder and the ones from 18 years ago. Uh, that's right. Without evidence, we can't point to any kind of connection just yet. However, there is one thing we can deduce. Oh, I see. You're suggesting that the killer was likely imitating...
Wow. Yeah, that's right. I think we should consider it a valid hypothesis. Well, all in all, I'm impressed with your reasoning. Way to play cool there, but don't count me out just yet. I could still solve this case. <laughs> As we proceed with the investigation, I'd like to take a look at Kuze's siblings, old Nintendo. I have a feeling that Makoto Kuze's disappearance is relevant somehow. Understood. As for you, Ayumi, can you see if you can get more info from the folks at the Minami Dyson Junior High? I'm on it. But what about you, Mr. Utsuki? I'm just gonna sit here with my fingers crossed and do nothing. I'm gonna dig around the Emio legend a bit more. There's something about the smiling man I want to confirm. I may be occupied for quite a while. Mr. Utsuki marches to the beat of his own drum. So, your old senpai is a teacher at your school, huh? It's great that you have a connection there. Yeah, that's right. Fugiyama even came to watch our club after graduation. He's got hats for you, Yumi. He sounds like a good mentor. Totally, but the boys weren't allowed to be part of the Naginata club at his high school. Oh, your senpai is a man? Oh, jealousy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, also, we exchange numbers so you can let me know if he learns anything useful. Oh, uh, your face has changed color, old Nintendo gamer. Yeah. Is there something wrong? You suddenly got weird about this. No, 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 it's nothing. Okay, if you say so. This is as far as you can currently play in the demo. Yay, we've got to the end of chapter two. Uh, save the data, yes please. And when we save, I should imagine that the name of chapter three will appear. Here we go. The language of flowers in the Yukariko village. Not the Kakariko village, the Yukariko village. Amazing. We'll be looking into the Yukariko village in chapter three. I think it comes out next Wednesday, but um, work will be pressing on the Wednesday, so it might be a little bit later than this one goes up after the update appears at nine o'clock. Would you like to open the Nintendo eShop? No, I wouldn't, but I would like to say goodbye from Emmy or the Smiling Man Famicom Detective Club demo. We'll be back with the last demo chapter next week. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can follow us on X, Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. We also have a private Discord server for some laid-back gaming chat, and if you're feeling generous, you can support us via coffee. All the relevant links are in the description below.